Well, good morning, good afternoon, God bless you. We are here again, another prayer theory. This is theory number six, and today I think we are going to set some of you straight so that you will not ever pray this dumb prayer that, excuse me, that you probably don't even know was dumb, and I did not either. Now, you might say, what prayer is dumb? Oh, let me just tell you, this is one that I thought I was so smart in praying, and it goes like this. Pray for patience. Yes. Oh, yes. You sweet darling, just pray for patience. I remember thinking many years ago, oh, I just need patience. And that was one of the top criteria, it still is, for uh, not the top, but for my husband, patience, because I know that I require it, and it is something that was desperately needed in my life, and I remember, I don't even know how many years ago, when, when somebody said, oh, you just need patience, I thought, well, I'm going to start praying for patience, I am going to start praying for patience, so let me say, it sounds good, right, it sounds good, Patience is good, right? So you might say patience, all right, equals good. <laughs> but does it mean it's wise? <laughs> no. Because here's what happens. And maybe this, I know I'm not the only person that this has ever happened to. But I remember when I prayed for patience, every person that wanted to walk across the street when there was no traffic so I could make my right turn, but there'd be that one person that wanted to walk across the street, you know, slow with a cane. Uh-huh. And then when it's time to make the left turn, there's the one person, or you want to make the right turn, and there's the person that's over scrunched so you can't get out, and the bank teller at that time, they had tellers, and, and they were slow, and, and then everything would take double the time. And you just wonder what on earth is happening? Yes. And then there, the, and then the people that tell you to do this, oh yes, it's working. You prayed for patience. I wish somebody would have told them a better way to pray because that is annoying. So it's it is very testing. <laughs> but I'm gonna give you the other thing that's most important. It is an incomplete. It's incomplete, completely incomplete. Why? I'm going to give you what to pray instead. Instead, pray 1 Corinthians 13. That's a 1, 13. My writing is what it is. We're working it out. Hallelujah. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 13. It sounds nice and so holy, we're just going to pray. Now, even back in the day, when I brought little Miss Olive home, before I brought her home, I went to the Bible, I'm like, okay, I need a, I need a name, and I need a name. Oh, look out! And, and then I wanted to, I, I was torn. So I named her Olive Patience. So that way, every time she pottied, or every time there was something that wasn't where it was supposed to be, I could just say, Patience. All of patience, and I was saying it over myself. Well, I've grown up, and now uh, I found this. Love is patient. Love is kind. So if love is patient, and love is kind. Why do I need to pray, Lord, help me be kind to people? That's just not that brilliant either. Because I could pray, <laughs> Lord, I pray for an increase in capacity to love. Ha, ha, ha. See, if love is patient, why would I, why would I pray for patience, and why would I pray, Lord, help me just be kind to all these mean people? Well, that's, that's fine, but it's like getting half a meal deal. It's incomplete. 
It's totally incomplete. It doesn't fulfill anything. But if I pray, Lord, I pray that you increase my capacity to love. Why am I saying increase? Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So if love is already in me, I don't need to pray, Lord, help me love. It's already in me. I need an increase of it moving through me because you know what love will be new each and every day not that god is new but what's in me kind of like faith and expendable you use it uh it's like a durable good you kind of use it and you need a replenishment faith favor wisdom strength and increasing capacity to love are what i pray daily so that way i'm increasing from the deplenishment or or i need a replenishment of what i had went through yesterday to love all those other loving people all around <laughs> you know what I'm talking about so if I only pray well Lord I just pray for love well he already gave me that he already gave you that his son died on the cross he is love he already gave you that his word this word's not enough well then how about this one right so we gave you he gave us everything that we need everything we need he gave us we just have to operate in recognizing it, that it's there Love is patient. Patience falls under. So we might say, love, patient, right? So love, and then we go here. We'll make a little organizational chart. Patient, patience, and then kindness. It doesn't envy. It doesn't boast. It's not proud. Covers sins. Huh, how about that? Right, so so when we start to see, we don't need each element separately. That's a lot of extra prayer. A lot of them. Lord, help me not be envious today. Lord, help me to 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 not to not harbor sin of other of others. Help me. That's just Lord, increase my capacity to love because by default, okay, this is is a global, all global, inclusive of all of those things. You only pray one thing at a time. you got to continuously pray one thing at a time. If you pray the whole thing, then all things that are in the whole thing come to you. The earth, the earth is God's and all that is in it belong to him. Now there's a lot of billions and trillions of things all over the earth. Quad, quadratillion, gigatillion, quadratillion, however much, right? Just set alone the people, right? But the people and the essence and all the people multiply that times, times the hundreds, hundredth degree and see what you get there it'd be times the billionth degree to the 99th degree of even that so then you start can to do, 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 add all your add all your equations and you start to see the earth and all this and it belongs to god he doesn't look now does he know each one of us yes but when we take this to love increase my capacity to love now we're increasing in patience we're increasing in kindness we're moving in a collective movement in god's kingdom that is not just one dimensional now sometimes if you want a meal deal it's it's better to not get the soda or supersize it we want the whole thing because love is the best thing that we could get the greatest of these is love so if we seg separate this and only go for one thing, eh, you'll get it. But patience is an attribute of love. Patience comes through love. Okay, let me take you here to, to uh, Galatians. Ooh, we got page bended. Watch, check this out. I love these because this is like just amazing to me. I love this. Galatians 5.22. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance. Uh, well, yeah, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of these things fall into the category of love. It's one fruit within one, it's one fruit in, and these are, these are the attributes of the fruit, the fruit of the spirit. So all these attributes of the, of, of these are the fruit. The fruit has these attributes in it. Love is patient. Love is kind. So look at this. For, but the fruit of the spirit is, is love, kindness, peace, patience, does not envy, covers sins. 
So when we walk in the fruit of the Spirit, we're not praying, Lord, help me be joyful. Help me have forbearance today or patience. Lord, help me have kindness. Help me have goodness. Help me walk in self-control or self-government. Help me be gentle. We don't need to do that. It's a lot of prayer and a lot of extra prayer. We can get the whole thing, Lord, increase my capacity to love. As a result, you will be walking in the fruit of the Spirit. People that are not walking in love, they don't walk in the Spirit because they can't. It's two separate things. The fruit and love go hand in hand. Ebony and ivory, peanut butter and jelly, Adam and Eve, they go together. Not Adam and Steve. Adam and Eve. Okay? So as we move in this direction, we start to see, oh, well, if I only pray for patience, you got, you'll get it. You will get tested. And you will, you, you will get tested. You will get the test. <laughs> and I want to know, have you ever prayed that prayer? And, oh, did you just hate life and want to just lock yourself in the room? But even then, your children are like trying to bang the door down. You're just like, why did I pray this prayer? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. So, as I said, you want to pray and memorize 1 Corinthians 13. Okay? Increase in capacity to love. It's already in you. If you lay claim to be a servant of Christ, if you lay claim that Yeshua is your Lord and Savior, love is already in you. You can just now increase that. Or you can also pray, which would be another avenue of prayer that would be a good one. Increase the, mo the capacity to love, but manifest the increase of the capacity to love because if you only pray increase it but you don't use it then it's still wasted right that's like well yay i just i just bought more more pizza but you're not even eating the one you have so the other one's going to go bad and you know it's not like you're going to can it well you might freeze it whatever but even then mm. So, so you want to pray for the increase, but then also that all the love that is within you, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You say, oh, hallelujah, love just flows out of me because it just can't not, because it's who I am. Then now you see what you are working with. You are working with so much more than the trials of the, the patient's test. As you move, you are going to get all of it. And as it manifests and it becomes who you are and you walk in the fullness of who you are in him then the fullness is there and the patience by default will be evident it can't not be because love is patient <laughs> so this is prayer theory number six pray for the increase and in the manifestation of love Increase manifestation, manifestation, and increase in capacity to love. That's what you want to be praying, and that will be there for you every time you pray. When you pray that each day, thank you, Lord. You will see that God will move in your life where, where people that were an irritant, you, you, you'll know how to maneuver through with them. God will move in a way where, where things begin to be still and calm and kindness will be on your lips. It'll be a different way of life because you prayed a bigger, bolder, more expanse prayer that, that got more done in a more strategic way. So, that is prayer theory number six. I pray that this has blessed you and that you put this to task and that it's in your little prayer for daily prayers. Thank you, Lord. And what I want to know is that, is that as you walk in this, share your testimonies. And there's always going to be some noise going on somewhere. It's like my students. Hey, over there. So this is this. Pray that. We do pray every single day at the 12 o'clock Central Standard Time hour. I invite you to join us. You just dial the number. You'll see it in the comments below. Dial the number and the shofar will play. And then we start at 12 o'clock. It's really that simple. Also, you can go to julieblerministries.org and there's a lot more messages there of various kinds and a lot of blogs, over 300. And you can learn more about all in full of what this ministry is about and what it is 
that we're doing. So with this said, have an absolutely fantastic day. Enjoy your day. Let this simmer and marinate. And I just look forward to sharing the next message that God has for us. God bless you guys and have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye, everybody. God bless you.